everybody. Welcome back to Life on Turkey Lane. Today we are going to do the video I've been talking to you about a little bit or mentioning in the last couple of videos. By the way, I'm so glad you're here. I hope you enjoy this video. I know there are a ton of videos out there talking about the Dollar Tree stackable planters. Yes, they are inexpensive. Obviously fits just about anybody's budget. And, um, but I I noticed there aren't a whole lot of videos out there. Now there's several videos on um, keeping them stable after they're stacked up, you know, putting a post down the middle to keep them where they don't blow over in the wind and things like that. Um, but there are not a lot of videos on a watering system for them. If you've seen the green stock, you know that the green stock has a watering system where you pour water in the top and it flows down, seeps down into all the other levels. Well, of course, the Dollar Tree stackable planters um, are not like that because they're inexpensive. They couldn't afford to put a watering system with these as well and sell them for $1.25 or a dollar. They used to be a dollar. Now they're $1.25. Um, so anyway, um, I found an inexpensive way, well, actually a free way to add a watering system to these. And so I'm going to show you what we're going to use and it's free so it's you know easy to do and free so it's in your budget to be able to do this and i think we're going to have because the problems i've had in the past with the dollar tree stackable planters is i didn't have a, a hose up here on the deck so i would have to come out every day or so and use um just a watering can to water these and it was kind of hard to get the water in each one of the little pockets and for it to seep not enough seep down out of the holes out of the bottom to water the other levels and so today we're going to use these and these are just leftover like little water bottles um free they're trash um i had to drink quite a bit of this <laughs> To get enough bottles but I've got plenty of bottles now and I'm going to show you what we're going to do so uh, let me get my drill and um, I've got my scissors out here and we'll get started okay so I've got my little cordless drill here and I have a real small drill bit on the end of it and what we're going to do is I'm going to go down in the center of the cap here just a couple times make little holes in there Put about three in each cap there don't take much and then now here along the ridge along that area i'm going to go ahead and drill some more holes just about every inch around and i'm going to drill several several but not so much where i lose all my water at one time So like I said, about every inch around, just right there, closer to the bottom, and I might drill even just one or two, if I can get it up there. Just a little farther up, because we want this to be kind of like a drip system. Okay, so. And now, as you can see now, I, I pre-fitted mine when I first bought them. I put a hole in the bottom, and I don't know if you can see that, and I don't want to dump all the soil out of this one. This is the dill that I planted with you a while back when I up-potted it into here. And I had put a fourth one in the center because I was thinking this was going to be my top thing. But since I decided to do this watering system, I had to take the fourth one out, and I'll just plant it someplace else. But I've got a hole in the bottom of here and it's the perfect size for my little um cap i'll have to take the i'll have to take the lid off here and now i'll just shove it down in the bottom there but i'm gonna have to cut the end off of it first so we'll get that done and then i can put the cap on. okay so to cut the top off of this bottle i'm just gonna get a little knife and poke a hole and then I'm gonna stick my scissors in there, just like this. And now I'm gonna to try to cut it as, you know, as straight and even as possible, all the way around. Okay, 
Okay, so there, I've cut the bottle off, and this one doesn't look real good. I'll try to trim it up and, you know, make sure we can get it in between these and, and looking pretty decent. And then I'm just going to stick that down in my hole here. Now, some of, some of my stackable planters, I don't have anything in yet, and so I'm going to plant those today, but I'm just going to stick my lid back on the bottom there to hold this in here. Okay, and there you go. We've got it stable in there because I screwed it from the bottom. And my hole is just the right size. It's about a little over an inch in diameter. And that's not gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna blow out. It's not gonna do anything. And so I'm gonna retrofit all of my planters like that. And um, then we're gonna get some soil in it. And I'm gonna fill around here with them soil. So that's not loose in there. Now I want to try to not get any soil down in my little uh, bottle there because I don't want to block that hole, the holes. So there we go. And um, so I'm going to start uh, filling these and stacking them up and doing all. I'm going to do all my bottles the same way, and then um, I'll be back when we're ready to plant these out. Okay guys, so I've got all my bottles uh, cut and I went ahead and saved the bottoms just for now because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. A lot of my stackable planters are not, doesn't have any soil. So I'm going to go ahead and put uh, my bottles in here the way that they would go. And then I'm going to start filling the, these with soil. So like I said, these have a hole that I've cut in the bottom. I cut those before I even... Uh, uh, used them the first time I cut those holes in the bottom here um, and these planters are a couple years old and they've held up really well and I'm just screwing that the lid back on the bottom there that lid fits through the hole just perfectly and um, I'm just screwing that on the bottom there to keep it where the bottle is tight if I can get this one started There we go. Where the bottle is tight in there, it's not going to fall out. Okay. It's got holes in the bottom. I've got a few holes around the bottle. And what it's going to do is whenever I fill the top one with water, it's going to start coming down into the other lower levels of bottle. So um, it should work fine, and it's going to start uh, in a water the soil and the roots from the inside here. Okay, so I've got several of them stacked up here and I've got my little bottle in the top there. Um, now I'm gonna actually, I've got 10 of these uh, little planters and I'm gonna do two towers with five each. Um, now my bottom one here, and I think I only have one like this that I didn't drill the hole in. I'm just going to leave that one like that, but I'm going to put the bottom of the bottle in there, right, just just like that, and um, so there's drainage holes, but the water will go in there, and it won't have to spill out the bottom, and you won't have to have, like, a bottle cap coming out of the bottom, so um, that's how we're going to do the bottom. Now, I'm going to set this little tower up here, and I'm going to take you over and we're going to put water in it and I'm going to try to show you the water feeding through there and how this is going to work. So I don't know how much you can see. I'm trying to get the camera in here, but I'm just filling my cup up with the water. And as you can see, it's going to leak out through those little holes into the soil. Now it won't leak, it won't go out quite as fast, but you can see it's filling up the bottom too. So it's going through each one of those. And like I said, I can't see the front of the camera. But as you can see, it's getting down there to the bottom and it's going in each one of those bottles in the cups. And it should be able to water each one of those levels. And once the soil's in there, each one of these bottles should be able to fill up quite a bit with water and it will go into the level 
beneath it. So um, I'm going to start filling these up with some dirt. Let me get my bottom one up here. And I'll show you what we're going to do to fill them with dirt. I saved saved the bottom cups of the bottom, part of the bottle. And now I'm just going to set that on top of there. I'm going to try to put it on top of there and just close that opening so when I put soil in here, it doesn't go inside my watering cup, okay? So, uh, scoot those over just a little bit. And uh, I've got my soil here. Let me put my little gloves on. It's getting hot out here today, guys. Uh, finally, the weather has turned. Now, it's supposed to rain for about four to six days here. Um, up here where I live in the Ozark Mountains, and um, but it is hot out today. It was it was pretty cool this morning, but we took the opportunity before it starts raining, and we went ahead and went down there and planted the tomato plants and pepper plants and stuff that needed to be planted down in the garden. Um, and so I'm going to take the opportunity this afternoon to get my towers planted and get those done. So. Um, when the rains come, it'll help just water these in, and um, uh, otherwise I'll have to keep them inside for another week, and I don't want to do that. Got my bag of soil here, and I'm just going to fill up my things. I might have to bring, up, bring out another bag here to get all of these planted. Now, I've got four already planted. I've got two with basil and two with dill. You saw that. Um, several videos ago when I was up potting my starts. Got the soil in there and I just want to make sure that none of my soil falls down inside the little cup there. And the cup is shallow so a little bit may fall in but I'm going to try to keep it packed back. And now when you plant your stackable tower you might want to plant your things out close to the sides of the cup here where they can grow up out into the sun. So let's pick a couple plants for this one. Okay, um, I've got a whole level of basil over there. Um, now some of my plants didn't do the greatest. I've got a cilantro here. Let's get a cilantro in. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fill that in so my soil doesn't spill over in there. I've got a cilantro here that I started from seed. that in there. Fill up with some soil. Get that nice and comfortable in there. And let's see, what else do I want to put? I've got a few, oh, I've got this. This is pineapple mint and our sage. And man, oh, I love the smell of it. it. It smells just like pineapples. I mean, it is excellent. And I know I'm going to have to backfill some soil with that. So let's get some of that back out of there. All that hard work I just did and I'm taking it back out. That's okay. And I might see... I don't know if this one can be divided or not. I'd like to get two of these. Well, I better not. I'm going to go ahead and just plant it all in there. Like I said, I'm going to plant it kind of close to the edge so it can kind of swag out of there. Mm, but that, that pineapple sage, it smells good, guys. It smells so good. Okay, and let's see what else. I don't want to put a parsley with it, but um, let's put a little flower, I think. Oh, I know what I've got over here. Pretty. I don't know if you remember the polka dotted uh, petunias I saw at uh, Hillerman's. Well, I didn't buy any there because they were $6 a plant. But I found these at the one of the uh, discount Amish grocery stores. 
and I think I paid two dollars a piece so big savings there and this is a trailer so it will kind of spread out and kind of go all different directions So we got those, that little row planted, and I'm going to put it over here on top of my uh, basil. Or no, actually, I'm not going to put it on the basil. That one's going to be the bottom of that tower over here, if you can see it. Now, there's some of these I'm going to be planting with seeds because I don't really have enough starts of different things. Um, so I'm going to be planting some of them with seeds, but some of them I will have, uh, like I've, I've got a purple basil here, so I'm going to put a purple basil in a couple of them. And this is another, like I said, tip for you. If you buy plants or anything at Lowe's, look for ones that have two or three starts in them, so you get two or three plants out of one pot. Okay, and I will come back when I get dirt in all these, and we'll plant some more out. Okay, so instead of just filling all of them with dirt and then planting them out, because I've noticed I've had to take out quite a bit of dirt, um, so I don't want to fill them all the way up before I get the plants in. So this one I think I'm going to plant. I've got one parsley start. Um, I do have a pot of parsley over there, but um, I don't think I'm going to use it in these pots. And this one's really weak, so... Go ahead and take some of this out of dirt out of these. So I've got one parsley start there, but I think it's going to do okay. So we're just going to fill up around it and uh, hope for the best. And uh, if this don't do well, we'll just plant a couple seeds. And now, um, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and put another one of these polka dotted petunias in one of my little pots here. Those are so, so cute. And I didn't realize that those were like a wave petunia. So they're going to be real pretty fly, kind of flowing out here. And I'll go ahead and put one of these purple basil in this other side. I know I've got a ton of basil this year, but I really do like basil, so I think we're going to be good. This may not actually be two plants, but I think it is. Okay, yep, two plants. So we're getting two purple basil. been putting like I said this the bottom to one of the cups in there to save me from getting dirt inside there okay. got to pinch some of my basil off that's been growing in those pots it's a little too tall it's overgrown or is leggy so, uh, yeah, I'm going to finish these up, get these uh, planted, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, now you can see I've had a change of clothes. 
um, when I got these planted up and potted up, um, we had to run into town and uh, get some groceries and uh, have some dinner. And I, I'm really whipped because I've worked hard this week on some different projects and um, garden beds and different things. Um, we went out early this morning and planted the main garden. We had tomatoes and peppers that we needed to get in the ground and this is gonna be the only opportunity uh, today was probably the only opportunity where it was warm enough to do that and before the rain hits. We're supposed to have rain in the forecast for the next several days. So they had to go out today. And so um, I'll give you a garden tour later on. Um, once everything's established and we can get back out there after all the rain and stuff like that. But I needed to get these garden towers planted too. I had all of that basil and dill and cilantro and different things that needed to get in the pots and needed to be out here. So, um, so anyway, okay, so I've uh, got my hose here. Here's my watering thing. And like I said, I just put the bottom of the bottle on top down in the thing. So that way, um, no debris or anything can go down in there. Um, and I'm just gonna fill the cup up. That takes a little while to fill up because it's going all the way down to the bottom. Some of it's going down to the bottom there. But it does fill up and I'm just gonna put that back on top there so nothing gets in there. Um, but there you go. You can see it going down in the hole there, the water. And now you can see, because this has gotten watered, that it's dripping out there and it's going into the cup down in here and the, and the next level and all the way down to the bottom. So I think this watering system is gonna work out great. Um, each and every one of these plants is gonna get watered, gonna get enough water and it's gonna retain the water that it needs. And um, I think they're gonna do great. So. Um, let me show you, uh, this is a, a rosemary right here, and of course we have basil. This is a sweet alyssum, and my sweet alyssum, um, I picked them up in a four pack from the Amish store, and that was a few weeks ago, and they just almost died on me, so we'll see if they work, if they're going to hang in there. I've got uh, some cilantro down here on the bottom. Let's see, here is my pineapple sage and a purple basil for some color. Here is the little polka dot petunia. Isn't that the prettiest thing ever? I love it. And um, I actually went ahead, I had some small pepper starts and I went ahead and put a pepper in there. So I'm gonna, I'm curious to see how that's gonna work. It may not work out, I don't know. It's not a very big pot here. I, uh, I've got some oregano and uh, yeah, so it's all potted up here and I think it's going to do good. So I'm excited about that and I'll keep you updated. And um, I pretty much got the same stuff on the other, in the other side over here. Um, but then down there, there's the cucumbers we started together just a little while back. And um, all of them have sprouted and I have gone ahead and um, thinned them because I put two seeds per hole, if you'll remember, so I thinned them out. And now there's really only, this, this bucket here is not looking super, super good. Um, one of the plants looks like it may have been ate up by some pests a little bit or it's, it's had some problems and one of the other plants is in there has a little bit of problems, but we're gonna baby them and see how they do, and if not, I'll go ahead and repot some more. And now, that, that variety is, that is the alphabet variety. So, um, those may not do very well, I don't know. But either way, we've got starts. Uh, we There, um, the cucumbers have germinated just fine, and they're doing pretty good, I think. So there you go, a super easy and free watering system for the Dollar Tree Stackable Tower Planter. Um, 
couldn't have been easier. I hope you'll give this a try, and I hope you have a blessed, wonderful day, whatever time it is you're watching. Be blessed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.